All right, and we are back. Um, instead of doing the main quest right away, <coughs> as you can see on the map, <coughs> it looks like we have a little Katrina, our Christina. A Miss Vespucci memory. Um, to go to, so that's what we're gonna do right away. You need only lift your gazes past my counter to see I tell no lie. And it's Firenze in 1478. Ezio! What are you doing here? I only just came back to Firenze. Look at you. Beautiful as ever. But, oh, it's so like, it's been two years. And I've thought of nothing but you. Oh, but it's your... What is it? I'm engaged to be married. My father kept asking me to choose. I thought I would never see you again. Ah! It's Manfredo! He's going to kill him! What? Tale, he lost money to. He's dragged them out to the end of the new bridge. Who the hell is Manfredo? My fiance. Best man, save Christina's fiance Manfredo from the gamblers. Has a bit of a problem, does he? Casa di Vespucci, built by distant great great uncle of the famous Mario Vespucci in 1350. We read this before. Yeah, I get a little confused with all the romantic stuff that Ezio's got going on. Is that the armor that I had? Or is it just the armor that I ended with? Okay, here we go. It wasn't my fault! I was going to have the money for you today, but the payment came in late! Grazie, Messere. You don't know how close. Whoa, hey! Aspetta! What are you doing? Do you love her? What? Do you love her? Christina! The woman you're about to marry! Yes, I do. I, I swear I do. Kill me here, and I will die still loving her. You are never going to gamble again. Never, Messere. You will be a good husband to her. Or I will hunt you down. Kill you myself. He's fine. He'll make a good husband. I made sure of it. What? what? Yeah, but that was kind of confusing for her. <clears throat> I mean, I get that Ezio likes her and did the right thing and all that. But that was pretty selfish as well, I think. Um, a little bit. The last part, not the, the, the kissing her part. But either way, we can get back to the main quest. Where have you been? We all have our secrets. I took the liberty of setting up a means of communication with your recruits. We send orders via carrier pigeon. Thank you, Machiavelli. Bartolomeo sends his apologies. The French have doubled their assault. Claudia. Ezio. All right. I have a plan to deal with the Borgia. We can either go after supplies, or Cesare's followers. My plan is to attack both. 
If we cut off his funds, Cesare will lose his army and return without his men. So, I ask you, where does he get his money? Volpe? Agostino Chigi is the Pope's moneylender, but Cesare does business with someone else. As of now, all we know is that he is called the Banker. I know someone who owes the Banker money. Senator Egidio Troche comes in all the time and complains. Bene. I will follow up on that lead. French soldiers are guarding the road back into the castello. Once Cesare arrives, you will never get to him. I intend to kill the French general. With him dead, Bartolomeo will have the Frenchmen on the defensive, and they will abandon their posts on the bridge. Even with those troops gone, the Papal Guard will continue to protect the inner gate. There is a side entrance. Lucrezia's latest plaything, Pietro, has a key. He was at the castello. Come see me later. I will have my thieves ascertain his location. Alright, so we've got our plan set up. Um, it's, that was kind of a tutorial, I think, about um, setting up our assassins and doing stuff with them. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that. Because <clears throat> we've been doing it for a while now. Where are you going? I am of no use to anyone without Forley. I leave to be with my children, and await the restoration of my lands. I wish you would stay. You are the leader of the assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Aditore, and take back Roma. Vittoria agli assassini! Vittoria agli assassini. Right, sequence four is complete. And here we go. <laughs> Almost thought that was the main quest. Alright, to the Rosa in Fiore for our current quest. Well done, Ezio. The courtesans tell me only the loyal remain. They speak the truth. Then let us not delay. Ambassadors from the Spanish king and German emperor have been discovered in Roma, seeking Cesare's support. Render them impotent, my son. Well, we'll put the main quest out on hold for now, and uh, we'll deal with <clears throat> these ones. Seems to be a few. Um, we can get those done uh, while the others can uh, deal with their parts of the plan. Ezio! My sister has been poisoned. A larger dose of the same drug they used on me. We know who sells it. A street doctor named Tommaso. He has the antidote, but not for sale. You must find another way. Hurry! Flora's time grows short. Malpractice. Steal a poison antidote from Dr. Tommaso and deliver it to the courtesans. Do not kill the doctors for, for full synchronization. All right, let's go find him. Ezio, oh. you've saved my sister's life. Grazie. And here we go again. Ezio. You banished that spy, Giuletta, from the brothel, but she continues to give information to our enemy. A Spanish ambassador this time. Her lover. We know he sells secrets to the church. Giuletta fears you now. Use that. Send her right into the arms of her Spaniard and kill him. Running scared, scared Giuletta, so she seeks out the Spanish ambassador and then kill him. Kill only the ambassador for full sync. 
Um, I feel like there's a lot more people that know about me and the organization um, than there should be. In every court that's... Zuleta, I know of your treachery. No, please, Ezio. I can explain. I mean, she knows my name, so... There's that. Alright, let's uh, follow her to her benefactor. She actually caused us a lot of trouble with the guards, but we're finally here. Please, I had no choice. Leave Roma. I do not want to see you here again. You must have had it coming, I suppose. What happened here? Come, now surely somebody saw something, yes? This is not just me. Some will next Friday conduct a I can send Ezio, my loyalty to your family has left me in a precarious situation. Rodrigo is trading favors with his foreign ambassadors. He wishes to gain information that will lead him to you. I go to meet with one of these ambassadors. He will demand my help and I will provide none. He may try to respond with violence, which is why you will be watching. Closing in, follow the ambassador to his meeting uh, to reveal the Borgia plans. Kill the target using the hidden blade. Sounds easy enough. Um, and yes, loyalty. Don't end up like Julieta. That would be myself. And I will not be careful of laundry lines. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do is find this guy. Luckily, his little area isn't super far away. I always think it's the, those guys. It looks like it's him. Follow. Oh, it's okay, it's a following thing. So we'll have to blend and follow this guy around. Following him proves uh, to not be too much of a challenge. He does that thing right there where he stops and turns around and looks about, but we have plenty of blend spaces and benches and what have you. And uh, finally we can get over to our destination here. Oh, well, apparently we weren't fast enough. Okay. Uh, let's try it again. I mean, what the heck? How much time does it give us? Okay, let's run quick this time. Okay, uh, well, well she's probably going to die again. Right now. No? Do we get more time this time? This odd. Must have killed her prematurely last time. Maybe a glitch. A glitch in the animus. Either way, she's not supposed to die, so. And goodbye. <laughs> Grazie, Ezio. My faith in you is well placed. Yeah, that sound brings us back to Assassin's Creed 1, huh? Ezio, I will lead you to three ambassadors. They are here to meet with the Pope, but will answer to God much sooner than they expect. Allow me to lure them out before you start. 
Live bait followed the courtesan while remaining undetected as she lures three ambassadors to be killed. Kill the target using the ledge grab. Okay, I will attempt that, perhaps. Richard prizes for all games champions promised. 4,000 gold scudi to the most valente cavaliere, as well as the favor of Donna Lucia Orsini. All right, follow this lady to our first target. Hans, you asked if I had any friends you could play with. I have invited one. There? Where is she? Wait right there. Follow. This is inappropriate. Not compared to what I plan to do to you. Follow me. There you are. Follow me. I have something to show you. If he won't go, I will. <laughs> no, I will take care of this. Stay safe. Well, that's three ambassadors down, and it's time to head back to Claudia. What do you want? You spoke of a senator at the meeting. Find him on the Campidoglio. You do not need me. Once I kill the banker, your girls must take his money back to the underground. Fine. Stay alert. Escaped from debt. Visit Senator Egidio Troce on the Campadilio uh, to ascertain the banker's location. Do not be detected while escorting the Senator. What a name. Alright, let's try this. Locate Egidio and the Campadillo. Yeah, we got that already. money to Egidio. We know what he intends to do with it. No more arguing. Your bill has come due. Make an exception for an old man. No. The banker sent us to collect. I will have his money momentarily. Not good enough.
Yeah, they uh, roughed this old guy up pretty, pretty hard. He didn't have a... Oh, he does have a weapon. Doesn't he? Okay, he does. He has that sword, but... They're really roughing him up. Good Samaritan in Roma. I thought they were a dying breed. Senator Egidio Troche. I don't owe you money too, do I? I'm looking for Cesare's banker. Ha! Cesare Borgia. And you are? A friend of the family. Cesare has a lot of friends these days. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. I can pay. Ma che meraviglia! He fights guards and he gives away money. Where have you been all my life? We better get out of here. I know a place. Stay close. Egidio Troche, date of birth, 1436, and he's a senator. And so the oldest of two brothers, Egidio, was the son of a senator who had the bad luck of following in his father's footsteps. Described as a naive idealist in a letter from his brother, Francesco, Egidio attempted to bring back the era of Roman commune when the Senate, the conservatory, stood at the head of a democracy. Problem was, the papacy wanted Rome all for itself. As the century came to a close, the Pope seized control of Rome's urban planning, public works, and finances, leading to the conservatory with uh, little more than, uh, to do than plan festivals. Egidio, seeing his fellow senators turn a blind eye as the Campadilio slowly became a living museum seems to have grown jaded quote i uh am i the only one in all of rome who continues to seek freedom and justice end quote he writes in a letter dated 94 records kept at the rosa in fiore indicate he began visiting regularly in 1495 You're going to have to protect me, though. The guards aren't being very friendly, if you know what I mean. Sweet Jesus! What happens here? Some A few months ago, my brother Francesco, the Pope's Chamberlain... I know, I know, don't get me started. He told me of Cesare's plans for Romagna. I wrote to the ambassador of Venezia, warning him. One of my letters must have been intercepted. The Senate has nothing to do these days. The Borgia have taken all the power. You know what it's like to not have got so to do? It changes a man. I admit I've been gambling, drinking... And whoring. Oh, you're good. Was it the perfume on my sleeve? Something like that. See if there's any paths out this way that, uh, way we came in, a little on that ramp, seems to be guarded, and I think by passing through there, uh, we're gonna get clobbered. Senators used to petition about real issues. Like unlawful cruelty, abandoned children. Now we write up legislation on the appropriate width of women's sleeves. Not you. You raise money for false causes to pay back your gambling debts. False causes. I am interested in pursuing them as soon as I am financially able to do so. You ever I look at the grave and think, this is the most significant thing I will ever do?
it when that worked out. And as you can see, my assassins are top-notch by now. And we've made it, with only a couple of snags along the way. It is not safe here. We must keep moving. Uh, this is just our first stop. Here we go. We cannot stop here. Too many guards. And he's under attack, so let's take care of him, guys. They're much better than before, I tell you. I wish I was that good. Alright, moving on to the next stop. I should never have sent them to the ambassador. Now Cesare will murder me. Benvenuto to the home of my brother Francesco. Thank God he's not here. We haven't talked since he found out about the letters. What did you want again? Cesare's banker. Right. I need to arrive with the money. Problem is, there is no money. You are meeting the banker. Where? I never know until I'm there. I go to one of three places. Then his friends take me to him. I will bring you all the money you owe. Sul serio? You need to stop this. You might actually give me hope. <laughs> Freaking old guys. Okay, so we gotta get 3,000 bucks. I don't know if we're gonna be able to afford that. I cannot believe you would just do this. There is a condition. I knew it. Keep an eye on the politics of the city. I want you to report back to Maria at Rosa in Fiore about targets who are helping the Borgia. And what? You'll make them disappear? The pezzo di merda may hate me, but he's still family. Va bene, we go. I will follow you to the banker. Uh, follow the money. Follow the senator as he delivers his payment to the banker. Do not be detected and do not touch the ground while tailing the senator. Okay, we can try that. We're already touching the ground, so... Alright. Here's our first stop. Egidio. It seems you are ready to die like a gentleman. I have the money. Oh, that's different then. The banker will be pleased. You came alone? Do you see anyone else here? Follow me, Furbacchione. Have you heard anything about my brother Francesco? Cesare is dealing with him. I hope he's all right. So, what are you going to do with my money? The banker likes to treat his friends well. How generous he is. <laughs> What did you say? Okay, his final stop. The banker must be in there. Egidio brought the money. Well, well. The banker has a special evening plan. I will be delivering your payment. Give it here. <laughs> Hold him until I get back. I better not lose sight of the money. Why not release me? I have paid. He is counting the money. Until it is counted, you cannot leave. Okay, so as we know from before, there is a way... Okay, right there, yeah. Infiltrate the Pantheon by the roof. But yeah, we know there's a spot on top to get in. Um, so we just gotta get up there. Alright, we gotta kill him without being detected. So apparently he's counting the money. I wouldn't actually trust him not to take some and then be like, Oh, well, this guy's not, you know... 
he doesn't pay back most of his debts anyways, so why uh, should we trust him this time? God, this would suck. Now, go kill that senator. Okay. Now, go kill that senator. Oh, he's repeated himself. We better get down there quick, or he's gonna go kill the senator. Uh, see that we can target him. Everything going well in there. We have to go, Luigi, or we'll be late. The count is complete. Va bene. Kill him. No. Lucky you. Luigi says he gets to live. Lead the way, boss. When in Rome, uh, disguised as the chest carrier, lead the guards to the banker's location without being detected. Listen to their reactions to determine the correct route. Arrive at your destination in less than three minutes. Okay. I don't remember ever being detected now we are or hitting the ground. Um, okay, so it sounds like we're going the right way initially. Little suspicious uh, level bar there. Okay, so now they keep on good time. saying stuff like that, and that'll give us the indication that we're going the right way. Um, <laughs> now we're going the right way. And it gets really annoying. So, where we're going? Yeah, there it is. Okay. We're on track. We'll just keep on going north. Uh, anyways, we can skip through this and we'll get to the end uh, of where it. Are we going? Okay, it's definitely been longer than three minutes. Um, uh, soon the party will be all around us. But yeah, we cross this bridge and come to over here. If you can recognize this spot on the map, that's what I would use over soon here. Soon this the job will be over. But this is the destination, I think. Hand me the chest, Luigi. I will bring it to the bank. You may enter. We can't go in. You have to patrol by order of Cesare. Poor Capitana. Cesare? He's here? Luigi has been killed. We discovered his body at the Pantheon. Luigi? We just let him in. In and out. Follow the money to get to the banker. Kill him and escape. Kill the banker from a bench without being detected. For full sink. And it looks like the guards are on to us. Now that we're already blended in with the rest of the guards, it shouldn't matter, but... Tell Claudia that the banker is here. Well, go on. Um... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess they would have checked all the guards. So we might as well blend in as a party guest. Although that'd be pretty tough too, considering we're dressed pretty uniquely. Either way, we'll do what the game asks. We'll follow the money. All right, we've arrived at our restricted area. That we need to go in. The money is changing hands. Kill the money area. Gosh, you know, I wish I could see them. Hello. Mind if I walk with you? Yeah. I mean, I do not mind. I've never been to Pestavia before. The old ruins make me nervous. I can protect you. I bet. That is quite a chest you have. It's not mine. But you are holding it in the strong arms of yours. 
you want to touch them? <laughs> Turns out there's guards behind that wall. Alright, trying one more time to get through here. Oh, it said not to be detected. Okay, well, perhaps since it loaded us back here, Hello. we'll be okay on that. Hello. Mind if I walk with you? Yeah. I mean, I do not mind. I've never been to Castaver in The old ruins make me nervous. I can protect you. I bet. That is quite a chest you have there. It's not mine. But you are holding it in those strong arms of yours. You want to attach them? What will I tell the priest in confession? Money for you, banker. I will take that. And that. You are dismissed. Where did I put my coin class? Honoratissima. Welcome to my party. I am Juan Borgia. Cesare is about to speak in the main room, Eccellenza. Come. Juan Borja the Elder, uh, DOB 1446, profession Cardinal Cesare's personal financier, the first of ten nephews elected to the cardinalship by Rodrigo Borja. Juan sought out a privileged position in the Borgia court. He helped Cesare negotiate an alliance with the Baron de. Valeos, uh, Valois in 1499, impressing the young Captain General, his knowledge of French taste. In an incident recorded by Bouchard, the papal master of ceremonies, Juan and Cesare were seated discussing financial matters when a steward brought in a glass of wine. Juan took a sip, declared the wine to be false, accusing the astonished steward of drinking the real bottle. He then threw the wine over the steward and lit him on fire. Uh, fortunately, the wine was not capable of igniting, but unfortunately, the steward was still executed once the small fire was put out. <clears throat> Such incidents must have impressed Cesare as he shunned Rodrigo Borgia's banker, uh, Agostino Chigi, to invest with Juan. Juan was gradually put in charge of Rome's finances. He used large amounts of the city's tax money to throw lavish parties for his friends. At one point, tossing a hundred gold plates into the Tiber after their first use, outdoing Chig Chiggy, who had done the same with mere silver. Rome's citizens were also invited to the public areas to these parties, but many still complained privately that their money could be put to much better use. Yeah, I mean, I'd agree with that. I feel like a lot of tax dollars, even today, go to, uh, you know, worthless things um, sometimes, or or sometimes it's just overspent uh, because the government allows it to be that way. There is so much to look at. Oh, good. I spare no expense. I can tell. Hey, you all finer things in mind. Make power so 
I see an apple. I can pluck that apple. No one will stop. Well, it depends who steal it. You don't seem to understand, my dear. I own all the trees. Not mine. On the contrary. I watched you steal my guard's money. I believe I've earned a free ride to Stipendia. In fact, I want to hear all my blood. Thank you all for coming. We have a long night ahead of us. What better way to celebrate my victories than to join in the Brotherhood of Man? Soon, we will be here once more celebrating a united Italia. And then the feasting will last for 40 days and 40 nights. Cominciamo ora! We did not agree to conquer Italia. If your brilliant Captain General says we can do it, why not rejoice and let it happen? You risk upsetting the delicate balance of control we have worked so hard to tighten. I appreciate all that you have done for me, but I have the army, so I am making the decisions. Don't look so bad. Enjoy yourself. Sounds like Rodrigo's lost power to his son. He is much older looking now from before, but yeah, not uh, not great it seems like. said we need to kill him from a bench. Seems to be walking over this way. So we'll just wait for him to come back. Maybe we can move a little closer. Okay, here he comes. Oh, here we go, buddy. You're done. Things I have felt, seen, and tasted, I do not regret a moment of it. A man of power must be contemptuous of delicacies. But I gave the people what they wanted. And now you pay for it. Il piacere immeritato si consuma da se. Reguiescat in pace. Okay, so we need to escape the area. Once we do, we'll have completed the quest. So much harder getting in than it was getting out. And now that we're all done, we can just uh, leave. Uh, hopefully we can make it up this wall. And I think that makes us good to get out of here. And there it is, 100% sync. You got the banker killed from a bench without being detected. And you, get off your horse. I didn't like that he ran into me. Excuse me. 
When we return to the Rosa in Fiore, there seems to be this going on. Paper trail. Claudia's girls have stolen the banker's money, but there's trouble in the Rosa in Fiore. Let's figure out what's going Where on. Where are Claudia and Maria? We came back with the money. They followed us home. <laughs> What? My sister knows how to wield a knife. And I am ready to do it again. Spoken like a true auditore. Finally, you two came to your senses. It's about time. Well, that's good news. Um, also... Sequence 5 is complete. That's good. We're going to leave the Animus. We're going to check out what's going on out in the real world. But yeah, I mean, it's... He did say that he knew about when they stole the money, so it's... Desmond's back. Makes sense that they would have followed him around. How's the power situation? It's okay for now, but the power lines are from the Stone Age. Bloody third world country! You're talking about Italy. No, Europe in general. I didn't know England was a third world country. England is not in Europe, actually, Rebecca. We, we tolerate Europe, you know? Like, like a person tolerates herpes. How did you manage to create a copy of the Animus? Ah, oh, you know, Lucy sent me schematics. I thought she couldn't get anything out of Abstergo. She had her ways. I improvised on the rest. Huh. We'll talk later. We gonna get any food in here? People who don't work, don't eat. I'm kidding. You knew I was kidding, right? Right. Smile and nod. Someone just volunteered to get the food. It was worth it. So it took them teams to build the Animus, but she did it as one person. What happened to Katarina Sforza? She went back to Florence and petitioned unsuccessfully for the return of her lands. Then she died of pneumonia. That's sad. That's life. Well, that's death, technically, but you take my point. Were we ever going to visit the Head Assassins? I heard about this meeting place when I was younger. Apparently, it exists, though I'm not sure, because I've never been. You'll get to see it once we have the apple. Well, I expect amazing things. A private espresso bar, for example. What a waste of money. You obviously aren't an espresso drinker. You know I love talking about this stuff, Desmond, but we have work to do now. Looks like we got plenty of water and... Rations or whatever's in there. Let's get to the emails, see what's new. Alright, Desmond's profile here. Uh, okay. Update. Five deleted eats. Okay, so let's. Quick update on our remaining counterparts around the globe. Moscow, they remain safe and secure. They are currently chasing a potential lead on another piece of Eden, so fingers crossed on that one. I've done <coughs> a little research for them myself and have confirmed a few of their suspicions, so it's looking good for the moment. Sao Paulo, uh, they had to move safe houses again, and this time it was too close. It's suspected there's a leak in their team, so headquarters is looking into it. It's likely the team will go dark soon, so uh, to try and flush out the mole. Hopefully they can catch it before it catches up to them, but they are supported, so that's a plus. Osaka. As per plan, they are still dark. 
they're scheduled to make contact with headquarters in 72 hours, so hopefully they are okay and have lost their tail. More at updates to come. S. Okay. Well, that's cool that he lets us know that. From Rebecca. Uh, unmarked van. Hey, guys. Just a quick heads up. There was a white unmarked van parked across the street when I went to get batteries yesterday and it was still there today when I came back with the food. It's a little too nondescript for my liking and it's just the right size for surveillance gear. I checked again uh, a few minutes ago and it was gone, but keep an eye out, Rebecca. Okay, and that's the only two new ones in Desmond's thing. Yeah, nothing in deleted. Okay, so let's move on to Rebecca's and see what she has going on. Hmm. Okay, Desmond was screaming for the handoff earlier. Okay, that was about the MP3, so nothing new. Oh, that's the Eats one. Don't want that one. Okay. <sighs> okay, hey, Lucy. This is getting harder and harder. I miss my family. Uh, I miss my dog. I miss my life. I know what we're doing here is important, but I can't help but feel this way, especially when we're spinning our wheels like we are now. I guess all I'm saying is I need someone to talk to, and you are the only person who understands. I guess there's Sean, but he just makes sarcastic comments. I just don't want to want that right now. Rebecca. Okay, so Rebecca's having some internal problems with uh, our solidarity or seclusion. Uh, okay, so update that one we read. Okay, so uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel the same way sometimes, but when I do, I try to think about what would become of this world if we weren't fighting this fight. It is hard, Rebecca, and that's why you were chosen like me, because you can endure. But I know your resilience doesn't make you invincible. Come by my room in the morning and we can talk about it whenever. Are the, do we have rooms in the villa? Do we clear some out? I don't understand. Alright, let's see what Sean's uh, email says, because we like snooping. Uh, okay, all those are the same. Let's see. Oh, wait. The anger of Italian apes. Okay, that nice pasta dish I like. Okay, that, that was earlier. So we don't need this one. Quick update on our remaining. That's the update. Okay. So, the anger of the Italian apes. Dear Lucy, I regret to inform you I will no longer be able to trek into town for the foreseeable future. I'll spare you the gory details, but... Suffice it to say, an exchange of words, hands, gestures, and grunts with a large Italian fellow have made clear to me he plans to murder your favorite male co-worker on sight. I am truly sorry for any inconvenience this might cause. Sincerely, Sean. Um, okay, so fine, but when the brute eats my... Pancreas will be without a lead data manager. Okay, this next one. In the inbox. 
from William M. Uh, status. Hello, Sean. Here's an update of team locations and activities for you to plan or to pass on to the others. You will probably be contacted by one of the members from Sao Paulo. Uh, you're their lifeline, so be ready. You'll be glad to know that everyone here is safe for the time being. I'm sure Lucy told you that you'll all be coming here once you have the Apple of Eden. I don't know what you've heard about this place, but there will be a lot here to show you that I know you're going to love lots of history. Moscow. They remain safe and secure. They are currently chasing potential lead on another piece of Eden, so fingers crossed on that one. Uh, I've done a little research of my own to confirm that... Okay, so this is... This is the uh, update that we heard earlier in uh, the last email. So he sent this out with the exception of the first part to everyone. Okay, so it says at the bottom, though, uh, I wouldn't share this one with the others yet. I don't want to alarm them until absolutely necessary. Denver, off the grid, and this one isn't planned it looks like we may have lost another one. Headquarters is investigating. Okay, so a whole team went dark uh, in Denver. Okay, well that'll be interesting to get into. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. All right. Pretty much all the same. Uh, my mouse keeps messing up and it does this thing, but okay, so leading effect update on our remaining apes. Okay, we read that one. Okay, so, bleeding effect. Uh, hello, Lucy. This one's from William M. as well. Your last email troubled me more uh, for your sake than the fate of the project. I have no idea what has gotten into you, but you're going to come down with an ulcer if you don't relax a little. You're doing excellent work. There is... Nothing for you to worry about. In terms of Desmond, however, I think you are somewhat justified in your concern. I need you to keep an eye on him and report anything you observe that might be relevant. When you get back here, we'll run tests on him, but I'm sure on your watch there will be no need to worry. Take care of yourself and get some sleep. Signed, William. William M. Who is William M.? Okay, unmarked van. We know about that. Quick update. Uh, we know about all that stuff. All right. Moving on. Lucy is gone. Yeah, okay, I don't see Lucy at all. Perhaps she's outside. Carnivore! Hypocrite! Did you know plants give off chemicals which attract predatory insects when they're attacked? Sounds pretty animal-like to me. You know too much for your own good. That's what my priest used to say. Just 
a little banter after Rebecca decided that we're evil for eating meat. Could have been a uh, could have been a veggie burger for all I know. It probably wasn't. Still can't get onto Lucy's computer. Sometimes I feel so disconnected from everything out there. Nearly a decade of my life gone, searching for those pieces of Eden. Think how great you'll feel when we finally stop the Templars. I'm not sure it will ever end, Desmond. I can't do this forever. I don't buy it. But Lucy I know brought me here and taught me how to see. She would never give up. I guess I trained you pretty well, huh? You did all right. Well, that was nice. World Preservation Site. Built in 1290, the Auditore uh, Villa is one of the Tuscan countryside's most beloved landmarks. A key force in protecting of Monteregioni for hundreds of years and a source of great architectural innovation. The villa was destroyed during Pope Alexander VI's military campaign in the 1500s. Help us preserve our history entering the ruins or removing anything from the site is prohibited and we've moved some stuff around so we're naughty we'll talk later now get in there and find the apple we're but we are going to end this episode here and jump Ezio's back in waiting. to the animus Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.